talk about the work that I've been doing for the last 10, 20, 30 years on green design. And I'm going to illustrate it with some of my own projects. This is an angle on green design that you may not have seen or heard before. So please bear with me. Now, almost every architect you meet today claims to do green design, and that's good because 20, 30 years ago, I was the, one of the few. Some architects do it a bit more greener than others. Some of them do it a bit more authentic than the others. And some of them do a bit more comprehensive than others. What has been of great concern to me is that most architects negate the existence of the natural environment, which is the context for all our activities as human beings. I contend that ecology must be the fundamental basis for design, for green or sustainable design. And so here we are, this is nature. Nature consists of things that are natural, the climate, ecosystems, the flora and fauna, this natural resources and the uh, physical environment. Now within nature, of course, there are thousands of species of which we human beings are one of a number of species. But we're the most powerful. We're able to change climate. We're able to, to ravage the landscape. We're able to just, you know, to, uh, affect the fishes in the sea. And so I, I pick human beings outside nature because we are exceptional uh, influencing factor. What influence in nature is our activities, industries, commerce, agricultural business, and so forth. Then we build things, we make things. We clutter the world with things. We take things from one place, manufacture it, and make something else, and when we finish with it, we just throw it away. Of course, in true life, I mean, in nature, there's no away. Away is nature, it's the ecology. We are living in a closed planet. The built environment is not just buildings, but everything that we make as human beings, toys, refrigerators, Thank you. Could you tell Elizabeth Hurley to stop bothering me? <laughs> <laughs>